Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a PDA file in PHP and also MySQLi. So this is a completely uh, database record and this database record available on my HTML table. I want to make a PDA file of this, this table. So I'm going to click on simple button like PDF then I am able to see the download link has been appeared. I'm going to open that just as you can see. This is my file. Do you want to change that? You can do that. You can assign your own columns. You can assign your own data as you like. Right? So this is my mistake. I will manage that on later. This time I'm going to show you how you can do that. Right? So I'm going to teach you from sketch. So this is my folder PDF final and this folder I'm going to open on my browser PDF final empty folder and first thing I need to download bootstrap file and I'm going to download the bootstrap file download no download and I'm gonna select the where C C drive and simp htdoc and PDF final right and press that open folder now inside this folder first I export here I leave that I create a file uh, I mean folder CSS and inside this folder I have a file bootstagot CSS I'm gonna paste inside CSS folder and delete this form right very simple now open your editor this file this project available on my editor the editor name is the php storm right inside this project have a css file so first thing you need to create a file mm, index.php i don't need to write that the php write the basic index of html file and uh, you need to include the link CSS link CSS folder instead of CSS right right now the next thing you need to create a file to make a connection I'm gonna write connection.php inside this I'm gonna create a connection mysql i connect localhost root and pass null and I'm going to use database CMS right if connection is not stable then I want to display the message connection error leave that create a PDF file and PHP. So let's sign this time background CCC. This one, right? So first we need to design the template and the send class mm, row mm, class call then class card here no I just assign first card then card card header inside that I'm gonna create a form not form not form use form form sorry form right and action is I'm gonna create a 
I will create a file on the PDF gen.php method is post inside this form we need to create a button and I'm going to use PDF assign the class btn btn success right and we need to also assign the type type submit right after the card header there I'm gonna create another there write the class card body inside card body I'm gonna create a table right so table tr th so first I'm gonna show you my database of lost PHP my admin I'm gonna select uh, the CMS and I'm gonna give it a post table right I will use this one inside this have a post text I will I'll get the data from this one table right so what I need to do on here yes I will get post ID so I use post this is a static data right post ID then post name I use post title copy paste then I use post author then post date you can select your own columns as you want to use on PDF then I'm gonna select a post not text I will use post status last one this one so post status right this is our simple table nothing happened on here but why okay I need to use first I check the bootstrap file available on it yes link CSS bootstrap CSS and let's check it now Oh, not working button why btn okay there is a mistake right now let's write the class table table strip right so after that right now the next thing is one more thing I need to do we need to use call I cut that I did a div send class container that's that so after that perfect right now the next thing we need to assign the margin top file to display in the looks like this so we need to get the data from database and display the data on here, right? So I go to our bow. So first thing you need to write the basic syntax of PHP, and you need to get the required ones and connection first. You need to get the connection and use query. I'm gonna use SQL. The query select static from post, right? This is table name database. Uh, table name the table name is a post right now the next thing I'm gonna use data this is a variable use my SQL I query pass parameter SQL and data right now the next thing we need to go on below and after this TR I'm gonna create a, write the basic syntax of PHP and I'm gonna use while loop right and what I'm going to use so my skill I fetch associate 
associate and pass that data variable use this clip decades and first thing you need to close the basic syntax I mean close the PHP just turn on this new I missed okay okay I will do that write the basic syntax again PHP inside this section right inside this section I use TR TR start TR close then TD inside the TD I am going to use basic syntax of PHP use the call row and the column name database column name post ID copy that best 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 post title now we need to use post title title right and post author post author then um, post date and post status so say let's check it now it's working or not it doesn't work right but don't worry let's check it now what happened okay we need to pass two parameters first one is a connection variable second one is a sql variable right so i said that and let's check it now this time yes perfect working fine right now i want to use this button to generate the pdf file right so first thing you need to get the library if pdf right i'm going to download this one library on my project zip file duplicate and let's select my location where where c drive and then htdoc and pdf final right and we need to get a fpdl folder inside that we need to download it open the folder right click it and extract the files and also folders delete this one file right you need to go on your project inside your project have a folder with the name of fpdf so the next thing you need to create a file with this name pdf chain.php you can write any name as you like you can create your own file as you like right so i'm going to create this one file pdf chain.php and one more thing we need to do on here we need to assign the name inside button bag btn pdf right so inside this page first thing you need to get the this one file if pdf inside the pdf underscore chain dot php file so i'm going to use if pdf inside that have a file if pdf dot php now the next thing you need to get the connection connection dot php right then we need to get the also data from database i use this one statement on here also right then i'm gonna use if statement set dollar underscore post anyone user click on the button which button this one button then perform this one operation working right First, I'm going to check that. So I go to this one file, this one file, and I that, and I'm going to click on that. This is my file name pdf underscore jane dot php, and this is a working process has been appeared. It means text has been appeared, right? 
Now let's work on to generate the PDF file, right? Inside if statement, first thing you need to make an object, right? Of the if PDF file. So I'm gonna use PDF, this is a variable equal to new, then call if PDF. First thing you need to assign the parameters. I'm gonna show you the parameters, what is parameters. First thing you need to go on fpdf.org website and go to tutorials and check out the each tutorial. Do you want to display the header? Do you want to display the image? Do you want to display the any other things you can do? In my case, I just show you few things that will help you to generate the PDF file in your PC. So open first one or you can uh, open another file, you can do that. So first thing you need to check out this one statement. Make object of the file, then uh, uh, call the function add page that will help you to add the page. Then you need to set the fonts, right? This is the font. Then you need to make a cell and assign the width and height and text. And use this one function to display the uh, PDF file on output. Now the simple process is you need to make a object and assign the type. Which type uh, later you want to output or you want to display or you want to generate in PDF. P means portrait, L means landscape as you can see. You can read all of these statements on it and also you can uh, check out the links you want to see the links and each link have a documentations right so we need to assign the p ma means millimeter f4 means uh, the letter uh, the letter size also have a uh, letter so you can check out the letter not on here. Mm, I think here is letters. Yes, P means portrait, L means landscape, and those are size of the uh, page. A three, A four, A five, letter legal, right? You can use them to um, generate the PDF file depend on your page size. So I'm gonna select the P M M F4. So I go to my code editor. First means P means um, size. Then M M means unit, and another uh, size is a A4. This is the paper page size. Then you need to go on again, and you need to assign the font size and also font family so i need to use pdf set set font first thing you need to assign the font family so i'm going to use area and the next one is a style do you want to display the board you can use bold do you want to display the normal you just leave that right but I'm going to display the board then the last one is the size of the fonts so I'm going to assign the 40 I go to again at the documentation and last thing have a what PDF cell so first I'm going to call that then I'm going to show you PDF cell First thing you need to assign the width. So I'm gonna assign the width for example 40, then height 10, then text. What do you want to display on the page? First I'm gonna display the post ID. This is the my data. Now the next thing is about how many uh, size, number of size to assign the border inside our PDF cell. So I'm gonna use one then inch I'm gonna use zero align in center this is very simple 
copy that paste 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 right so this is a width height and text what do you want to display on the pdf uh, cell border and this is a inch this is very important and i'm going to show you on later i also check out now zero um where it is um, zero what is a zero zero is an inch uh, border is a zero and this is a line break right line break also done with a line this is a method and i'm going to show you just a minute where this is a basically and this is a line statement so first thing i'm going to show you post id and what the next post title i'm going to copy that post another post author those are my static data but i want to display the dynamically data i'm going to show you how you can do that just a minute just a minute guys it's very simple so i'm going to use this so first i'm going to use uh, i want to display this one data on the pdf file so i'm going to use pdf no pdf output function output first we need to check that it's uh, working or not so i go to this one file i'm going to click on that okay something is wrong if pdf line number 27 okay Look what ones if PDF PHP same mm, if PDF and left PDF if PDF uh, mm, just do it. If PDF and we'll find if PDF. Why it doesn't work on here? Um, okay, guys, sorry for that. We need to add the page. I'm going to show you the problem is where it is page uh, set font uh, I go to about this one method we need to use this one function PDF add page so I'm going to use PDF add page then it's working I think I need to check that so I'm going to refer that and click on that there we go Download as you can see, guys. Post ID, post title, post author, post date, and something something. This is a basically a size of the width and height. You want to change that? You can do that in my case. I use post ID column will be 30, post title will be I use 25 and 35 35 post date also 35 and 35 i also change them 40 40 so this is our static data that i want to display the dynamically data right so i just use by loop and make a variable data and you can use row Right, my skill I fetch associate and pass the above variable like data this one variable. Okay, and now we need to use while loop 
and just a minute guys so if I that I'm gonna copy this one line and paste on here now one more thing I'm gonna show you this is a zero inch line break this is the LN means line break zero means after this cell I can't uh, see the second one cell in the next line zero means I have used zero 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 means I want to display those lines in the uh, those cells in the same line right and I have also used zero this means I want to display the whole lines whole cell in the same line I'm gonna show you same line same line right but I want to display the next one a cell with next line so I need to use one after this one cell then the next one cell will be appeared in the next line right so you need to use this pair so inside this one here is static data post ID right I'm gonna leave that and I use co row and database column name that's it mm, just a minute not cover just to use row and database column name is what post ID paste there copy paste 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 and paste right I will manage the size post title those are database column names remember them post author post date and last one column will be and after the last one column you need to also assign the line break one means after displaying the complete data in the same line then loop will be running then the next one data will be appeared in the next line this is a completely working process so let's assign the size 40 you can manage the size depend on your work right in my case I I just show you how you can do that right so this is our working process first thing we need to go on below and prefer that and click to PDF generate exist I'm gonna change that name to PHP PDF open that hmm this is my mistake I use again this is a PDF 6 okay already exist hmm just a minute just one guys this is my mistake I have opened many again open I change the name to edit it open that as you can see guys so this is my uh, font size now one more thing we need to do right I'm gonna show you just a minute I'm gonna close that and also close Oh, this one also I go back and I go to this one this is a uh, basically I have assigned the same uh, set font property inside my borders uh, I mean heading text but I want to assign another font size with my another uh, data so I'm gonna copy that and paste after this one right and this is a bold so I want to display the normal fonts and also I want to decrease the font size so, right area font size 12 and style is normal right and also um, I use 30 30 45 5 and this column will be 25 45 this is a width of the cell right 
you can use that in your own work you can use that also to display the header double six double six right as you can see this is my PDF file has been created using PHP and MySQLi and I have received the data from database and display the data on the page right perfect so you can also use header footer you need to uh, read the tutorials like this one how you can display the image how you can display the set font you know how you can uh, set the cell you know how you can use line break this is also you know uh, lns ln this is the ln right like this is zero 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 means ln and also you can display the footer and you can also use another methods as you want to display on the page time and many other things so i hope you are understood as well how you can use php in mysqli to create a pdf file so thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel for getting updates have a nice day guys